Hey everyone, welcome to Barely Necessities, our May the 4th edition. How are you doing, Becca? I'm good. I, I came dressed. I've got, well, yeah, these are my like Leia buns up here and I'm wearing my Ray hair and put a little bit of weird lipstick like Padme. So There you go. You're you know. representing all the, all the ladies. Yeah, I know. And, and wherever uh, Yoda I is. I see Yoda there. back there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing okay. See, I'm representing. I got I got my Droid Depot uh, t-shirt, my R2-D2 tumbler, and I even brought along something that I've had for a good long time, so it's quite worn, but it is my little um, R2-D2 lunch pail. Oh. Does he make enough noise? That's awesome. <laughs> So yeah, we've got a we've got a lot of fun in store this uh, week of uh, barely Necess today's episode of barely necessities. We're going to focus on Star Wars because it's May the fourth, and even though it isn't merchandise, I just had to share this little tidbit with everyone. Let's see if I can hit the button and go. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's way cooler than the one I have. Although mine was something that somebody made a long time ago they didn't make it specifically for me but it even lights up you can kind of see it oh but, cool yeah not as cool as that that looks amazing and that's <laughs> that's gonna be at the hotel so and that's one of those things where we're still waiting to find out kind of exactly more and more details will come out about the new uh galactic star cruiser over at walt disney world but it's one of those things where is that going to be something that i get to take home with me or is that just an experience I'm going to have at the resort? Exactly how that lightsaber experience is going to be realized is yet to be determined. But boy, am I excited! I bet they're going to do both. You'll have you'll have like an uncustomized one that you can use just in case you don't want to buy one to take home. I <laughs> no, I I don't know. So yeah, okay. Well, today available to you over um, at Downtown Disney. They had a uh, reservation only event and our Mike Celestino was there. And I thought I'd share a few of the items that he was able to uh, pick up while he was there because many of them are actually available on Shop Disney. So um, there's the May the 4th pin, uh, the Wishables collection. Now this is a blind bag, right Becca? Yes, that's a blind bag. And then there's a standalone R2-D2. And that's the um, Star Tours uh, attraction. Hi, Ayla. And you can see they've got the Star Speeder 1000. And then there's also a chase variant in the blind bags. That's the Star Speeder 3000 from the original iteration of Star Tours. So you might get lucky and get that one. There's the whole set. They uh, shared a picture over, I think it was at the Disney blog, and we've got it on Laughing Place. And you can see the various, uh, the two star speeders that uh, Becca was mentioning. And our own Mike Celestino, he managed to get Captain Rex, which is just what he wanted. So that, that worked out well. And then also as part of the um, online, they had the uh, this two set. It was the Reforged Skywalker uh, Legacy Saber, and the Leia Legacy Saber. And uh, those sold out very quickly um, over at Shop Disney, but they were still available at the event that, that Mike went to. So yeah, I'm, I'm not sure uh, how many of those were available by the end of the day, but if it's something that was on your wish and want list, you know, keep an, keep an eye out at the resorts. Shop Disney still had the wish list button up there. I don't know if that means anything it also did say i think limited edition but it was i think 375 for the set which is and it comes in a nice case too oh yeah when you open it it plays what's known as the force theme so very very sweet i like your uh, husband's tip here he's he doesn't want to buy it online he wants to wait until he can go to disney and uh, give the bag a nice uh, feel and figure out which one uh, he's getting um over at shop disney they still do, do have, as you can see here, the uh, Star Wars May the 4th Be With You uh, t-shirts. Those were, were still available um, along, with a, along with the uh, you are, oh, the Starbucks mugs. Is I it? think it's been there. Been there, yeah. I, I got it wrong the first time I wrote it. I think it's 
been there and not you are here. Right. I might have that backwards. <laughs> that would make more sense because you're not buying it while you're on Tatooine. These are Tatooine and Dor Batu. These are places that you've been to, unlike my Miami mug, which I bought when I was in Miami. Right. So, so Do yeah. Do you have a favorite of those three? I am really fond of the um, Endor because um, it's got e Ewoks and all kinds of um, other things on it. So yeah, uh, I like Ewoks. How about you, Becca? I think I would pick that as well, although I'm really drawn to that blue on the Batu mug. So I'm mm -hmm. like, do I go with my color or do I go with, <laughs> with the characters and the planet I liked a little more? Well, I actually have a rule in my house. I think I've talked about it here before. I'm not allowed to buy any more coffee mugs that have blue on the inside yes. because I discovered that all the coffee mugs I own <laughs> were blue on the inside. So I was like, no, uh, that will be my cutoff. That will be my way of limiting the uh, amount of coffee mugs I collect. Thanks, Sarah. We're glad you joined us today. <laughs> um, also, so many um, brands had merchandise today uh, that they released in celebration of uh, Star Wars days over at Rock'em Socks. They had uh, socks not only representing the classic favorites like, uh, you know, Leia and Han and Boba Fett, but then they also um, embraced the new Bad Batch, which um, debuted last night over on uh, Disney Plus. I have yet to uh, see it myself. I have to wait until my husband gets home from work. I didn't get up early enough to watch it before he left today. So, so yeah, so I'm dying to watch it. I cannot wait. So far I've been avoiding spoilers, so I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, but I haven't seen it either, so I could tell you something and it would I would have no idea how right it is. <laughs> but I thought this one was particularly cute with the, um, it says the force is strong in my family and then it has the red laser and the green laser and it has the empire and the rebel um in insignia on it so yeah just lots of socks over there at rock and Sockham. i think they said 25 plus new designs all dropped um today and then over at rock love they had the adorable um meditating child yes that's i have an image of that of that from that scene on my phone as my opening screen i'm like okay this is or my, yeah whatever the 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 front screen is. I'm like, okay, just Zen, Zen baby Yoda. <laughs> and uh, Solo is coming in and, and reminding us, yes, lightsabers are cool. The probe droid Lego. I, yeah, I was looking at that er earlier today. I almost pulled the, almost, almost pulled the buy it button. Came very close. I didn't quite do it. I just got back from a trip to Disneyland and had, you know, done some of the tourist spending there. So I didn't feel I could spend any more truly fun money, but uh and then over at Rock Love, they also have a Mudhorn pendant as well as um, some Ewok uh, earrings that they debuted today as well. Her Universe, as always, had numerous uh, new arrivals in celebration of May the 4th, whether it's some Grogu stuff. I think it was Grogu mostly, uh, uh, some short alls and, and a couple of prints. So that was all over at um, Her Universe. But I was particularly happy to see that at, um, oh, the name of the company is going to see me, Cakeworthy. Cakeworthy has restocked some of their classic prints that I have, I've been wanting to purchase for a long time now. It's a t-shirt with uh, the droids with C-3PO and R2-D2. It's their Oliver print. It had been mm -hmm. out for quite a while, and they restocked that along with um, the do or do not, there is no try flannel, which is what they're mostly, I think they're more known for these flannels. Would you say that, Becca? Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. Yeah, I think I'm more fond of their all over print, though, myself. I haven't bought any of their flannels yet. Have you picked up a flannel from uh, Cakeworthy? No, not yet. I haven't found one that I'm absolutely in love with. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not terribly in love with these Adidas shoes, but I'm sure for some that is quite the quite the pickup uh, with the uh, Yoda mm -hmm. face there on the, the heel, along with his uh, do or do not uh, along the sides. Uh, Cakeworthy also has these uh, adorable uh, overalls as well. 
So lots of really exciting um, merchandise out there. If you have a favorite brand, by the way, I would recommend checking them out today. Mm -hmm. A favorite store, um, Hobby Lobby, their Star Wars merchandise was all marked 50% off. Joanne Fabrics, they were having uh, deep discounts on numerous fabric patterns. Some of the um, more like uh, digital locations, Nintendo, Google Play, Xbox, Go check out the Star Wars games if you've been considering any of them. Quite a few of them were on sale today. And in fact, in some cases, very deep discounts. So yes. uh, be sure to give those a look. And there's some of those discounts, maybe not quite the deep discounts, but some of those Star Wars games discounts will continue just a little bit beyond the fourth as well. So if you don't get it today, you're not necessarily out of luck. But the, the deals won't be a lot, or around for very long. One of the things that you do need to catch today is this um, Tervis today only um, tumbler. And then they also have it available as the water bottle and it's the Death Star plans. And that's over at Tervis.com. And like I say, they have this labeled as today only. So it's a special for um, May the 4th, the Death Star plans. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. I, I was I was impressed with with this particular one. It's so simple. So it's like when you first look at it, you wouldn't necessarily like jump out like, hey, it's mm -hmm. But then when you, you know, oh, OK, Death Star, got it. Um, Me Undies has unveiled their new child print today. Mm -hmm. It is the cutest thing. You've got um, a, a sleeping baby Grogu dreaming of froggy snacks in his pram. There's another one where he's holding a bowl with the with that uh, like squid-like creature mm -hmm. kind of coming out of it from that chowder scene, and then another one where he's got the uh, what, where there's a butterfly nearby, um, flittering away. So uh, yeah, I uh, I found these really cute, and it's available in all kinds of different. The way that Meandies works is um, they'll do some of these like limited run prints, so it's a cute design. And it's available in their underwear, whether male, female, various cuts, um, t-shirts, nightgowns, socks. But like I say, they do it for a limited run. And then once it's gone, they, it's gone. It's like it's a retired print. Yeah. So that's how that works. And that's over at Me Undies. And all these items that we're you know talking about here are going to be linked below. And um, in many cases, a small portion of the of your uh, purchase we'll come back and help fund uh, Laughing Place and all the different programs and shows we do here. No change in price to you, just just a little something uh, that helps us as well. Um, now, Becca, you'll have to help me again. The name of this company. It's Roosevelt's. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roosevelt's. Did you have a chance to browse through these? I, I did. They And they have a few other items as well, but uh, these... These are really nice. They have some swim trunks. And then, of course, the the shirts that you're seeing there, all in the same patterns. And yeah, you were saying they went really fast. The um, This one on the far left, that's the collection of, um, it's like a, a pattern of just uh, layered images of Star Wars collectible toys. I went to the website like two minutes after it dropped. And, uh, the, and it was already listed as sold out in all sizes. So yeah, it went very, very quickly. Another one of them was only available in, um, I want to say the comics one was only available in kind of either the larger end sizes or the smaller end sizes, the kind of those, that sweet zone. There uh, weren't as many t uh, shirts within that that uh, size range. Um, the, the These are priced at $65. And they're kind of that um, somewhat, they're woven, but they have a little bit of give, a little bit of stretch. So they aren't quite as stiff as uh, your typical uh, button up uh, cotton shirt. Let's see, Becca. What else do we want to talk about? I'm going to br bring us over to the Herschel bags. Sure. Yeah. Let's take a look at those. There's some new uh, lunch lunch boxes and just travel bags from uh, Herschel, of course, featuring uh, Grogu. So a lot of fun with that. Um, 
I didn't actually spend much time on this, or I didn't look very, very deeply into this. Um, I didn't write this one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Just turn someone else on. No, there like was it. so, there was so much today. It was oh, like yeah. everybody was writing merchandise articles. So, um, so yeah, I just, I took a cursory glance at this, but I think, it, I think it's a really nice collection. Um, the color scheme is really pleasant um, and mm -hmm. uh, ties in with the Mandalorian. I mean, it's very clear to me when I look at these designs, um, you know, what, what I'm looking at. Right. So I, I, I like that, but yet it doesn't, but yet it isn't um, just, you know, kind of an image. It's like, like cosplay versus costume. Sure. Sure. So, um, and then over at um, Disney World and they uh, announced well, I guess both parks, huh? They announced new mm -hmm. items are coming to Galaxy's Edge. Yeah, those look fun. I I like the little uh, plush figures. I think, uh, well, the stand the the standing ones, I should say, not the not the animals. I like the one that uh, looks like uh, what is it, Doc Ondar? Or Ondar? Yes, yeah, um, Doc Ondar, and then Darth Maul, Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, that's actually the best that Jar Jar's looked in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was surprised to see Doc Ondar as a plush. I thought that was a, a fun a fun move. And then I didn't initially recognize the furry character atop the uh, bowls. I had to reach out to our team and was reminded that it's uh, the lava meerkat. This was a, a critter that we saw wandering Navarro. Eventually, kind of followed Cara Dune, and I can remember the scene. She's like leaning on a post and kind of tossing a few little morsels at it um and then the blue uh, the blue is a uh specific uh type of loth cat so that'll be nice for people to add to their to their collection and the droid the droid purse this time they incorporate a bit of a c3po into mm -hmm. uh the droid depot design a bit more um, i think I, he feels like he sticks out a bit more and the blue, though, reminds me a lot of R2. So I think that's kind of fun. It looks like it's the color of his dome. And then, of course, the gold elements that are C-3PO. And apparently Kyle likes to call him Lava Timon. So maybe he'll do a little hula at some point. So we'll, put, we'll, we'll put our, our Lava Meerkat in a, in a grass skirt. And then, oh, I put another picture of the Wishables. So. <laughs> To make sure we well, they're so good. I mean, about. yeah, it's, like usually it's Wishable Wednesday, but today, rightfully so, they dropped the new the new products on on Tuesday. I was gonna let me double check what else I've got before we move on to oh here we go over um from the company oh it's not written right here and I didn't write it down <laughs> so there we go um. Oh, Hang on, let me figure no, out why you're it's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, um, no worries. They, I believe the collectible keys are still available on Shop Disney as well. There's a Mandalorian set, and there's a Star Wars May the Fourth key, and then there's also a like mystery um, or blind blind key series that they uh, there's I think six different uh, six different characters that you could wind up with. So. That's all over at Shop Disney. Kind of fun if you're into collecting the collectible keys. Yay, you got your thing. <laughs> yeah, there was a, a, it looks like an an album from the 80s, but they're actually That's doing so a cool. repress of this Empire Strikes Back symphonic suite uh, recording. And that is available from a company I believe is named uh, Vera... See, and I'm gonna click on the link just so I say it. Right. You're okay, because I'm. I I saw this, and I, I again one I didn't spend a lot of time looking at. Let's see. It is. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna scan this while everybody watches me scan. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Come on, guys. Give me the information. <laughs> guys, it was a really busy day with merchandise. <laughs> It's Ver Veris Saraband, right? I mean, I think that's how you say it. It's Verise Saraband. I know, I know that's what comes. I know those are what the letters say. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, and I was hoping that putting it in front of my face would help me remember how to pronounce it, but it didn't. So, 
There we go. The link is on Laughing Place. You don't need to know how to say it in order to order it. That's great. <laughs> you can find it over, over there. Um, also on Laughing Place, we highlighted some uh, Funkos that are uh, on the way. Mm -hmm. Yep, more Bad Batch. And I know all of these these characters have names. I saw some of the names with the uh, Rock'em Socks, but I don't remember what they are. Are you up to up to date on any on the characters, even though I haven't watched the episode yet? I I should be because I did watch them. Um, you know, they're Clone they Wars, Clone Wars that introduced right. us to them, but I haven't held their names yet. So I'm hoping that you know, in watching the show, I'll know that this is Hunter, and that this is Wrecker. Okay. Oh, and good. We've this is tech. And Those then are cool. we have crosshair. Go ahead, Becca. No, no, no. They just, they look really cool. I, I love that, the picture of the two of them, but I hadn't, um, I hadn't seen all, all of the individual pops and they, they look awesome. Yeah. I'm very much looking forward to the series, but I was a big fan of shows like the, I like camaraderie shows. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like I remember a team growing up and I'm, I'm, a, I'm really hoping for that kind of vibe with the show, kind of like the, the band of, of brothers doing something together, you know, and you know, a bit of uh, that kind of locker room teasing that can happen. And, you know, that kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that there's some of that in amongst the uh, story here. And then you've got Echo. And um, apparently this one is Hunter Camino. So I'm guessing that, mm -hmm. that this will fit into a specific story point um, in uh, Hunter's story. And over at the El Capitan Theater, if you haven't been able yet to make it to a Disney park and get your hands on the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket, you can do it through concessions to go at the El Capitan. Uh, the link is um, on Laughing Place. If you were following us on Twitter, you would have seen that announcement this morning around 11 instead of now where it's, you know, four o'clock. Um, another reason to uh, follow us over on Twitter. So, yeah, I think that catches us up with kind of what was happening on uh, Laughing Place in regards to all the merchandise surrounding May the 4th. But now we're going to highlight a silly list I put together based on the seven dwarfs. And to kick us off, we're going to start with pajamas because we start with sleepy and we're going to hit the right window this time instead of the wrong window. So that's what we're going to do. Do, do, do. And window here. Sleepy. Don't wake the princess. My list today is going to focus mostly on my favorite characters from the saga, the real heroes of the Skywalker saga, Princess Leia and R2-D2. Oh, that's <laughs> perfect. Excellent. I, yep, I 100% am behind that. You're with me, huh? Yes. The story is actually about Leia and R2-D2. All those other, all those other characters are, are peripheral to, uh, they're the supporting uh, stars to that saga. Um, for happy, you need a mood lamp. And what would put you in a better mood than an R2-D2 lava lamp? That's awesome. <laughs> I have never seen anything like that. That is so cool. Isn't that the funniest thing? <laughs> Crack me up. Okay, and I thought this shirt was kind of something that Grumpy might pick up. And that is a, uh, it's a princess shirt, but it says, don't mess with the princess. <laughs> nice. There you go. And and this is this is representative of the scene where I fell in love with Princess Leia. I can still remember that moment when they're in the corridor and she's being rescued by these two guys and they clearly do not have a handle on the situation. So she just grabs the rifle, shoves them out of the way, kicks open the you know, blasts open the door to the trash compactor and shoves them all in. And I just that's when I was like, Yep, this is my movie. This is mm -hmm. for me. Um, for the dwarf dopey, with the dwarf dopey in mind, I stumbled upon this delightful uh, musical mm -hmm. baby crib toy. It's a, you know, the Millennium Falcon, R2D2 dangling there. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Little Chewy. You know, it seems something like he would enjoy. Simple. Yep, 
from Lambs and Ivy. And Sneezy, I figure Sneezy probably has allergies, which means he probably is bringing his own lunch a lot. So I found it's the same lunch box that I, lunch kit that I featured earlier with the sights and sounds. See, it even glows. And this, this little bag has got to be uh, six or seven years old now. So it's, it's held up pretty well over time. Nice little capsule size, you know, it's like kind of a capsule so you can stack your various uh, items in there. Keeps things nice and cool. My husband used to carry it to work. So, yeah. So that's for uh, Sneezy. And Bashful, I think of as a letter writer. I don't know why. I've always thought of him as a letter writer. So I went with this very stylish cross pen. Oh, that's lovely. Featuring Princess Leia. On, along the sides. <laughs> Sorry for the noise. No, no worries. I was like, "Wow, you got some weather going on over there." No, that's the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And finally, for Doc, who's the leader of the group in my eyes, I went with this image of Commander of uh, General Leia doing her thing on the battle on the on Hoth, making sure everybody is, uh, you know keeping organized and doing their best uh, to defeat the empire. That's so perfect. that's the sensational seven for this week. Oh, my husband, that's my lunchbox. <laughs> um, for, for is this, he sneezy? Oh, is he sne no, no, he's a vegetarian though. So oh. therefore, you know, not as many it. options necessarily in the uh, cafe at work. So he, he'll bring, he'll bring his own lunch. So yeah, that's what we've got going on there. Um, which means now that I finished the Sensational Seven, it brings us to our shopping list. Yeah. So we covered so much today that was all Star Wars and a lot of this stuff showed up just over the last 24 hours, but there's even more. So none of this is Star Wars related, but there's a new collection of uh, clothes for the new emos on Shop Disney. Yesterday, they released uh, the Rainbow Disney collection, and there's there's a key for that. And then there's all sorts of um, all sorts of merchandise with the different um, brands under Disney. So there's like a Star Wars shirt with a rainbow stripe on it, and then there's stuff with Marvel. There's pins, everything. Um, tomorrow, there's going to be a Dooney and Burke featuring Moana and that'll be oh. at Disney Springs. <laughs> I know I don't usually share images during this portion, but check fine. out this Moana stuff. Yeah, it's it's so a big a big image. <laughs> and yeah, you, we've got Maui there and uh who is it Pua? Am I saying that right? Um Yep, and hey yeah. hey. Yeah, so that will be at Disney Springs if you happen to be in the Walt Disney World area tomorrow. Um, they haven't said whether or not that'll be coming to Shop Disney, but we can always hope. <laughs> it might be one of those things that, you know, two weeks, three weeks from now, it'll show up and we'll be writing about it again. Uh, we've got a mini, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Lounge Fly. There's a wallet and a backpack. So there's, yes, so much, so much stuff to check out. Yeah, I, it's so cute. cute. And it would go so nicely with that dress that they released yes. a little while ago. Yes. So all, and the dress is still available. So you can still complete your look. You can also get the uh, headband with the little train on the top and the clear ears. So definitely go check that out and you can complete your runaway railway look. There's classic poo collection. From, um, featuring them, the friends in London, and that's on Shop Disney as well. There's another Herschel I series, um, Mickey, just Mickey, classic Mickey, um, available. And then yesterday we had an Infinity Saga Quicksilver figure, so not Quicksilver that we saw in, uh, or I guess <laughs> Pietro Maximoff who we saw in WandaVision, but the one from the, um, her actual brother from Age of Ultron, and that's available at Hasbro. So, so much stuff is out there. One of the things that I didn't realize how much I enjoy, and I'm gonna, I've, I'm gonna try and bring it to the show in the weeks ahead, was when we we went to the reopening of the Disneyland Resort, mm -hmm. and walking through the shops, 
and having the store displays, you know, and just seeing things presented, not just as flat images, you know, in person on a mannequin. I, for, I forgot how nice that, how it, you know, how it elevates the product. Right. And absolutely. Yeah. That it's, it's been a long time since I've had that too. So I'm really glad you had that opportunity. Um, so yeah, so I took plenty of pictures of that and I'll be sharing them um, in future episodes of Barely Necessities. And it also prompted me to think that I'm gonna start asking our team as they're wandering around the resort to start you know, s sending me pictures and we can gather up and share a few maybe each week, kind of highlight a, di a different shop that we stumbled on during the week because those those um, displays change regularly enough mm -hmm. that I think it'd, it'd, be, it'd be a fun, uh, fun part of the show. And now with so much of it being available on Shop Disney, it's not an exercise in frustration. You know? <laughs> right, right. Where you're like, well, I'm never gonna be able to get right. that. Exactly. So yeah, so, I guess uh, I guess that's it for this week. We had tons and tons of Star Wars merchandise. In the weeks ahead, we'll get back to our normal format of all things Disney, Disney parks, princesses, uh, Marvel. But today it's May the Fourth, and so you have to do uh, do the appropriate nod to the uh, Star Wars uh, franchise um, and. Uh, which means tonight watch um, Bad Batch on Disney mm -hmm. Plus. So and then again on Friday, right? There's another episode right. on Friday. You're absolutely right. Yep. So as always, we invite you to uh, subscribe to this stream so you get um, notified when laughing. Subscribe. Let me try this again. <laughs> subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when Laughing Place goes live. Tonight we're going to be going live at 7:30 Pacific with our trivia show and tonight's trivia contest is going to be celebrating Star Wars. My understanding is that we're going to have three. So you're yeah. going to have three opportunities to win our trivia contest tonight. It's played through Kahoot. It's live. Tonight we're going to have some special Star Wars guest stars of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what our crew has worked up. Um, it's a lot of fun. We always uh, find ourselves uh, laughing quite a bit. My husband's quick on the uptake. <laughs> uh, later this week, we'll be coming to you live from inside uh, theme parks in uh, the Southern California area. I want to say we're back at Knott's, but I'm not 100% for sure on that. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned to Laughing Place. Uh, we ask that you follow us on Twitter for news and information, um, you know, minute by minute. Man, we've always got something going on. So. Thanks for joining us this week, and we'll see you next time. Bye. May the force be with you.